So the margin for error has gone. The group stage is behind us. Euro 2016 has reached the all-or-nothing business of its knockout phase. on all four sides rise for the national anthems. them now So it's away we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. Uh, his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower defenders. And his turning sharpness is another very tricky part of his game. And he's a handful. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Sterling. Rooney looks to dink one in. And the volley. An early chance there, first of the game. That's a pretty powerful effort because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled and now they've got to back it up. Maxime looking for options. Sterling. Shaw. It's a throw in. That's a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. In for a header! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. England. Very much the team that started on the front foot. Yeah, I think they've started in a, a very positive manner and look hungry for goals, and they'll need to capitalise on such a good spell now before we possibly see a, a reply from the opposition. And it's Rooney. Oxlade-Chamberlain cuts it out. First quarter of an hour gone. Still goalless. Ricordi. Sterling has the route one option. Now the pass. Now it's Kane. Milner. And the flag has stayed down. Sterling. Milner. to get it away well positioned to make that interception and it's Maxim Rooney boots it upfield Maxim 
Kesseru can't hurt you with his back to goal and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that so I think they're defending him very very well Milner Sterling Milner Sterling tries a through ball it's out for a goal kick Kane with a beautifully timed run Kudakesh ball's loose, who's getting there? It's Rooney. Rooney, can he get through? A glorious footwork. Looking for a decent ball in. Goal! England! England take the lead. Oh, even a section of the opposition fans are applauding that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, it's the modern ball that makes such a difference to shots like that. If you connect well, it will swerve and dip all over the place. It's just so hard to predict. England take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. England are in control here on the brink of half-time. Passes it through. Milner. And scored near to half time to give them a 1 0 lead. And well played, he saw that coming. Rooney. Looks like a good ball through. It's Kane! Oh, he did the hard part right, but loved the finish. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. Kudakesh. Maxim. First half is done. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? England are going to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. So off we go once more. 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Drilled in low. And the defence can get it clear. Milner, Rooney. to slip it through Oxlade Chamberlain well, the balls come loose and the chase is on themselves to be solid all over the field. Kane with a delicate ball. Now it's Rooney. Whistle's gone, that for offside? Yes, it is. Not 
another piece of really good defending. England just about have their noses in front. It is the slenderest of leads. And it's Rooney. Rooney, can he find a finish now? What a corner. should have done better and he knows it but when he struck that he must have thought it was going in such are the margins of success and failure in this game that was so close <laughs> 60 minutes played England get dipped into their subs Fine defending there. Barkley takes control of it and he's on the move. Rooney with the ball through. Maxi. Kirikesh. Maxi. Pumps it upfield. Phil Jones. Oxlade Chamberlain. Phil Jones. Oxlade Chamberlain. He slid it through. Another piece of really good defending. Hurtles into the tackle. Fine defending there. Kane. It's Kane! Danger averted for now. Phil Jones. Oxlade Chamberlain lofted into the middle. He's dealt with that well. Good effort first time. Well, no doubt if he'd sacrificed some of the power he was trying to put into that and in favour better technique then, I think he might have had more joy. As things were, and they have survived it. Well, a warning like that must be heeded. They now know how good this team can be on the break, so measures have to be put in place to guard against that happening. Away from immediate danger. That's gone a long way up and away. Oxley Chamberlain. Now the pass. Kirikesh. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Who's going to make this theirs? Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Grigore pushes to get on the end of it. Rooney dinks one in. Floats one over. Maxime. Maxime's delivery. Tries a through ball. He's gone for it! Unbelievable. We thought it was over. It's all square once more. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. Our oh, players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick minded was that? There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. 
So all square with almost no time remaining. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. They need a bit more urgency in their play, time is ticking away. Passes it through, here it comes. Lovely feet, it's a long forward pass. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Board shows there will be three extra minutes. Chamberlain chip through that's it we're going to get 30 minutes more well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints really because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal and it always lacked that spark well, fitness and fatigue the key factors now as we head for extra time minutes gone and nothing between them still England pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time can they avoid the same fate here where the consequences are still more serious and certainly caught him there it's a free kick out of harm's way Milner Milner keepers ball Cahill to the keeper and try something new Shaw Sterling takes a look up It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Could go all the way here. Milner. Grigori. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. And it's Maxim. And he's made certain that won't get through. Looks like a good ball through. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? Well, the odds are that the next goal wins. Will there be a next goal? Turns and goes back. Gets good distance on it. Milner. Can he finish? Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. at the end of extra time that must settle it that's always a great sight you know on a football pitch nimble footage show great balance and a really cool head to finish and that kind of dribbling is really smart
Romania have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. England take the lead. I think this team shows great willpower and a wonderful never-say-die attitude. No other outfit can match them. They just keep going. Superb. Tries a through ball. Hefty challenge, but fair enough. Sterling. Milner. Oxlade Chamberlain. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Now the pass. And he's there to hoof it away. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Accusatory stare there tells the whole story. I thought it was good vision, but the execution was poor. Kane passes it through. Oh, they needed a better pass there. He's got away with one there. Whipped it in low. Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? Rooney. Rooney! And with that, the final whistle. England win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Look, the exercise here was totally focused on making round two. And while it may have been a bit tighter than they would have wanted, it's enough. And they can take that spirit and togetherness forward now and be a formidable opponent.